Now I, I, I wonder because I look at myself philosophically. I don't think there's two people different, more different back in Washington, D.C. than perhaps myself and Barack Obama. Someone who was born and raised in Chicago, someone who was born and raised here, or not born, but raised here in Carson City, uh, you're going to have some real philosophical differences. I consider myself a low-tax, small government, reasonable reg regulations, a free market capitalist. That's me. I don't think that has much to do with the single-pay health care system or fundamentally changing uh, America or perhaps redistributing wealth. And yet okay. There are some real constitutional issues in this piece of legislation. Never in the history of this country have we ever mandated a citizen to buy a product. And that is now what we are doing here in this country. You have to. When you turn 18 years old and you're not on your parents' health care, you better run out there and buy health care because if the IRS finds out you haven't, you are fine. In worst case scenario, you'll go to jail. At 18 years of age, you are now a, a, a citizen that uh, if you don't take a certain act. How many more uh, IRS agents are we going to have to hire to administer this so-called health care? And and is it a frightening thing that they will be in charge and be able to look at everything the American uh, person has in their, um, in their monetary system? The, the, the crudest way I can put this is that if you have a gouge in your leg, do you really want to go to the DMV um, with the IRS leading the way? I mean, this is what we're looking at in, 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 in the... Uh, uh, oddest way that we're going to some government program where the new health care police now is the IRS. 16,500, not tomorrow, not next year, not the year after that, but by the time this bill is implemented, we are going to have 16,500 new IRS agents. And the purpose of them is to police health care. Isn't that incredible? And unfortunately, with the reform that we ended up with, it is estimated by the Congressional Budget Office that this will cost us $3 trillion in the next 20 years for the health care bill. We're not going to get any benefits for six years, but six years, but you have to pay taxes for the first four before the benefits start. That's like buying a house and your, and your bank telling you you can't live in it for four years, but you've got to make payments on it. And then you can start living in that house. And that's how they structured this health care bill to make it appear that it didn't grossly impact the debt here in this country. All the CBO did was give the first 10 years, or the only thing the Democrats would push was the first 10 years, because if you're paying 10 years of taxes and you're only getting six years of services, of course it, the appearance is that you're not increasing the national debt. It is now estimated that if you drive down this street, go down to the south end of town, drive by these car dealerships, that this health care bill is estimated to cost at least $100,000 more per, uh, per car dealership. They will pay now $100,000 more a year in health care costs for every car dealership that you see in the state of Nevada. I was talking to a small casino, uh, and I say small, probably one of the larger casinos in, in uh, Reno, but certainly not the biggest. And they said this health care bill will cost them between six to seven million dollars a year more in health care costs. Now they're no MGM, you know, they're they're not a win property. This is a, a northern Nevada casino, six to seven million. Can you imagine what it's going to cost MGM or Circus Circus or some of these companies? And if it's going to cost you six to seven million more a year in your health care. Do you think you're going to be hiring more people in the short term? And, and, and so, that's my, so that's my concern. 